Merry Christmas 2023 from beautiful Kingston, Ontario, Canada. I found myself having some time alone this Christmas day before my kids all congregate with their puppies and my grandchild. The weather's really got nice. It's supposed to get up to around 7 degrees Celsius today. So I thought I'd take you on loop around the city of Kingston on this Christmas day. They got a little bit of everything here. Some roads, some trails, some muck, and some downtown Kingston views, which is beautiful. And if you bear with me, I may even do a little bit of reminiscing about 2023, my thoughts, some highs and lows. You can't usually get away with going downhill without going up one. It's so mild out, I took my gloves off. So as I turn on to Highway 33 or Bath Road, which is also part of the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail, which this fall I did a video of uh, part of this section when I went from Picton to Kingston, so check that out on my YouTube channel. This will be our first chance to get uh, some water views. So we'll be heading over there to uh, Lemoyne's Point. And how appropriate that beautiful day by you too is on my playlist on the spring leg day in Kingston. So if you're interested, my playlist is quite diverse. Everything from Spanish guitar like Jesse Cook. Just some rhythm and pop. Really like Leon Bridges. Guilty pleasures in Maroon 5 sometimes. And I like some heavy stuff. Rush is my all-time favorite band. Dream Theater. Oh, quite diverse mix. But when you're cycling, I like to have it a little bit more on the upbeat side. Well, I figured to be busy today with the traditional holiday walks for people and the mild weather. I walk here almost every day to come in here. It's my, well, probably even before when the kids were little. So, over 30 years. Here you go. This is Old Front Road. If you're a cyclist, you might want to take this, get away from the main road for a bit. It's beautiful. Just saw two people putting canoes in on December 25th. Can't say I've seen that before. Geese, swans out there. There are just as many on the other side too. I decided to get off that busy road on my way into another one of my favorite walking spots in Kingston, Lake Ontario Park. Beautiful. Little tricky with cycling shoes. Twenty-seven k in. Time for a 
snack. I'll get in the festive spirit with some Costco peppermint bark and some homemade cookies. Well, and some dates for real energy. So if you watch the video I did with my partner Christine when we went from Lake Ontario here to downtown Kingston, which I'm going to mimic that route shortly. Um, and then we made our way back here. This is where we had our swim. And we swim here all summer. Quite nice. And of course, Darla the dog's in there all the time. She was in even in December this year. Man, these dates are past her best buy date. Now we're talking. Well, let's start with some reflections on 2023. Pretty appropriate as I'm sitting, taking some moments, looking at this. To start with, just how fortunate I am to be living in a city that's so beautiful, has such access to great natural resources and lots of water, lots of great places to go for hikes and walks. And to share it with some pretty cool people. <clears throat> I've also been pretty lucky to get to Prince Edward County and have some trips this year. Um, lots of cycling in Prince Edward County. I had my trip to the West Coast to visit my brother and did some bucket list rides there, which you can find those as well on the earlier days of my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, I guess another thing would be just uh, getting their nerve up to start my little hobby YouTube channel and, you know, get out there. And I was definitely feeling a little bit of a creative gap since I retired, and that's been nice to be able to, you know, do it, even though it's small, just to get out and get some energy in my rides and show people kind of what I do and maybe some people could benefit from that. So I thought that was really, really great. Um, again, my continued uh, gratitude for my health that I've been able to get out and, and do these sorts of things as well. Uh, and of course, I'm a, <clears throat> well, it's been over um, over a year now, but I'm a, a grandfather too. So that's pretty cool. And all my kids are, are healthy and in various states of uh, growing into uh, impressive young adult so lots to be grateful for and you know I have lots of love around me and I'm loved so that's uh, a pretty cool thing in terms of challenges well the world seems to be quite a, a fractured place and even though I'm pretty fortunate in lots of ways um, I'm not totally affected as maybe some people are by the economy or job crises or a rent crisis, but I feel it, man. I feel it with many people around me struggling, especially young folks as well, trying to get started. That's always a, a tough thing to watch, <clears throat> especially when it's loved ones and people, you know. So that's uh, that's a little bit tricky, and just again, some of the divides you see across the world and some of the world wars are disappointing, and hopefully that can resolve itself. Um, other than that, on the physical front, I mean, I'm, I'm quite healthy. Uh, there's a few things I didn't get to this year I would like to, some rides or whatever I would have liked to, and a few more like road trips that didn't happen for various reasons. So I'm hoping 2024 I'll be able to do some of that. All right, King Street now, just coming up past the penitentiary. Oh, the water is so calm, just so oh, beautiful day. So many people out, obviously, enjoying this weather. Working off their Christmas excesses. Just taking a detour off the road to get on this pathway as part of the shoreline route. You can see the Wolf Island Ferry coming in over there. Really nice place to come for a walk. It'd be a little strange to see downtown Kingston so quiet on Christmas Day because this is a really nice place to come for a lot of good restaurants and food and, and walks as well. So we're just coming up on the Wabin Crossing. 
This is a new bridge in the last couple of years, connecting east and west, Kingston. Back where I started in beautiful but muddy Cataraqui Cemetery. Working my way home. Well, a couple of nice things about living beside one of Canada's prettiest and oldest cemeteries. Uh, one is it's beautiful, it's quiet, and it keeps me off the road for a while as I cut through to my trail. And most importantly, I got to go visit. My mom and dad would lay to rest here and wish them a Merry Christmas and all my love. This is where I basically started my ride, my way home. What a beautiful day for a ride, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me on it. Ended up being about a 45 kilometer ride and um, gave me a chance to get out and reflect on 2023 and maybe what's gonna come up next year. Well, thanks for tagging along. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and if you know anybody else who you think would enjoy these types of things, let them know.